Okay, so this is a tutorial for the bobble square, and this is how we're making the bobbles. So this is just a swatch. This doesn't look like you're knitting at all. I'm just gonna show you the actual process of the bobbles. So you're gonna make five stitches go into one stitch by knitting in the front of the stitch and the back of the stitch. So you're gonna knit in the front like normal. And you're gonna pull it through. The only thing you're not gonna do is take it off. So each time you're gonna do the full knit stitch, but you're just not taking this one off. If you notice, I also, once I go through, I pull this front needle, my right needle towards me so that I have space to see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna go into the back of the stitch. So you're gonna go into the back of the stitch. You're gonna wrap it and pull it through, which is under and up through the stitch. And again, pulling this towards me, going into the front of the stitch. This would be stitch number three that we're making. And pull it through and pull it towards me. And now you're going to go into that back of the stitch again, wrap it, go back under and up through the stitch. That's number four. And now you're going to do one more and that's number five. And make sure you're counting because you need those five stitches. Now you take the stitch off. So we've now made five stitches, five stitches go into one. So you have one, two, three, four, five stitches. Now you're going to turn your work and you're going to purl the same five stitches. You're going to, everything we're about to do, you're going to do over and over on these same five stitches. All right, so now we're going to purl five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And you should have a gap here between this stitch and this stitch. They should not be connected. If you didn't get this last one, it would look sort of like, well, that sort of looks like it's not a gap either. But anyways, make sure that you cut five stitches and there's definitely a gap here. And then you even take time to count. One, two, three, four, five. This stitch, see this stitch is not part of the five. It's got its own little um, pearl bump underneath it. So these are your five, all right? You're gonna turn it around. Now you're gonna knit the five stitches. And I do suggest that when you're doing the first couple stitches that you actually give this a tug before you wrap it. It'll help the um, bobble not get too loose. And there's two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna start decreasing it and getting it back down to one stitch because we don't wanna add five stitches to our row over and over and over again because there's a lot, there's five bobbles in the first row. So now you're gonna purl two together. Again, give this a tug before you wrap it. Purl two together. Purl one. And purl two together again. Purl two together. And we're gonna turn it again. Now you're down to three stitches. Okay, there's your bobble and there's your three stitches. So again, take a minute to look at it and see how, you know, this is totally separate from these other stitches. And now you're gonna knit one, knit two together, and you're gonna pass the slips, this knit stitch, the second stitch over and off, like binding off. It's just like binding off. So you're gonna go over and off. Okay, and then the last thing, which isn't officially written in the pattern, but you want to do on any bobble you ever do, is you're going to put the left needle in front of that stitch. And this is called, you're knitting through the back loop. So this is, and it feels a little backwards, but you're knitting through the back loop and it's going to twist the stitch a little bit and help it stay up front. So that does, and it might pop backwards. And if yours pops backward, you just pop it forwards. And that's just the way that goes. Okay, now when you knit the next stitch, there's a big space between these two stitches now. Huge, enormous space right there. So make sure when you knit the stitch that you put them like they're next to each other and you're not knitting it like, like way out here somewhere. And if you do, it, no matter what you do, make sure you give it a tug and make sure that the stitch is close. These two are close to each other. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Okay, here's our second bobble. You'll have seven stitches between yours. I'm only gonna do, I'm gonna do three, four, five stitches between mine. Okay, so again, you're gonna go into the stitch, wrap it, 
And when you pull it through, make sure. So here's what happens if you don't do that. So if you just keep everything like tight right here, like this, it's gonna get really, really tight. In the last couple of stitches, you're hardly gonna be able to get them in at all. Can you see how tight this is? Like I can barely get my needle through. So that's why you really wanna make sure you pull your right needle towards you every time you come through a stitch. So here's one. Coming through, you're gonna pull it towards you. See, I've made it big. Here's two. And I'm gonna pull it towards me. Here's three back in the front. Pull it towards me. And, and also that makes it easier to see the back of the stitch too, because you now have space to look at what's going on. Go into the back, pull it towards you, and go into the front. See how much space you had that whole time? You weren't struggling to get it out, uh, um, everything in. I'm gonna do it one more time. And notice also, if you have to pull it out, just pull it out. This, this stitch is all stretched out anyways, so it's not gonna go anywhere. You'll be able to get it. Um, yeah, so, so again, we're gonna go in, around, pull it through, in, in the back, around, pull it through, through the front, around, pull it through, that's number three, and this is number four, and this is number five, all right? So there's all your five stitches again, one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm gonna turn my work, and on those same five stitches, I'm gonna go one, purling five, right? One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm gonna turn my work again. And it helps if you'll pull down on the stitches here because they wanna get caught up in the back, like just sort of caught up. So if you pull them down, then they're not puffy and back here when you're trying to work them. Now we're knitting five. One. Again, pull and then wrap two, three, four, and five. You only have to pull on the first one. And now we're going to turn it again. And this time we're going to start decreasing. So you have purl two together. So you're going to pick up both two stitches two stitches and purl them together. And you're gonna purl one, and then you're gonna purl two together again. Again, see how these stitches um, are sort of puffy right up here? But if you pull it down, see how they sort of go down into where they're supposed to be? So pulling them down is a good idea because they're like, they just get sort of stuck on each other. Okay, now we're down to three stitches. So we're gonna knit one, Again, two together, pull before you wrap. And then again, I'm pulling those down so they're not all stuck up there. And I'm gonna take the second stitch and pass it over the first stitch and off my needle. And there's your next bobble. And then you're gonna take the left needle, put it in front of the right needle and knit that stitch. And then you're going to make sure that you have your stitches next together when you knit the next stitches. And there's your bobble. Now, bobbles are very strange looking. And there, there's going to be space here, too. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the purl row. There's a, the next row you just purl. So you can see what happens. That Everything sort of gets pushed into the right spot once you do the next row. So this is just a straight purl row. So see, there is space here, too because that's where we started our bobble is on this side. So make sure that when I'm purling this, that this one, it gets really nice and then give it a little tug and is right next to it. So, so there's not a lot of, it, it'll actually be a hole. I mean, this is actually a hole right here, right? <laughs> that's a hole. So you wanna make sure you block up the hole by making sure these get knitted right together. The hole's still there, but you won't, you won't see it. It's in the back of the bobble. And see, that looks better. And then once you do another row, it'll even look better. So they're very funky looking. No way around it. That's the way they are. See, there is a hole here, but the bobble covers it up so you don't notice it. And again, once you do this next knit row, it again will pull this all back together even better. 
Um, so don't be worried about that. It's just, you've just made this, this little piece of fabric right here all on, all on one row. Like it's only, this is the row you started the bobble on and this is the row you finished the bobble on. So there, it's only one row apart. So yeah, so there you go. That's the bobbles. Okay, 